Hi there. Since I received so many questions about the C effect I used in the Kirov Build video, I decided to make this tutorial video. Enjoy! Let's start with the model. This is AFV Club U-Boat Type 7D in 350 scale. This kit has awesome details and very well designed with minimum parts, not like the other AFV Club kits I built before. Also, it comes with a very useful PE fret. Let's get started. I want to build this simply because most part of it will be under the sea effect and waves. Let's get this ready for paint quickly, and I will continue to explain later after that. This is bad. This connection line between lot of rise details and I don't think to do a delicate sanding job on this. After completing the sanding, I'm adding the missing details with stretched sprue. That's way better than spending a few hours for a sanding job. I'm preparing the PE parts with basic tools as usual. Finally, I can start to paint this.
I'm gonna apply some little bit exaggerated post shade weathering. The first layer is like this. And here is the result. First of all, I have cut a proper size of block from a high density styrofoam. And now I'm marking the cutting area using with the model. I'm filling the spaces between the model and the base with wrinkled kitchen foil. And fixing them with white glue. After that I'm adding random texture to the surface with wrinkled kitchen foil. After it has dried, I'm covering the surface with white glue first. Then I'm gonna cover it with a layer of kitchen foil. And again after it has dried, I'm covering the surface with white glue again. Because the texture is still too sharp. This will smooth the effect and this is better than a bare metal surface for paint. Don't get confused, white glue becomes completely transparent after it dries. And the base you see is half painted with white primer. It's not white glue, I applied before. And here we come to the tricky part of the build. Do not apply an opaque layer of paint. Think about that like a pro shading. Darker areas and lighter areas. Clearly you can see the lighter areas are the crest of the waves. I'm applying the first layer of X22. As you see, the waves are appearing.
And here is the second tip. See the difference of left and right. It's because of the clear blue paint layer. Always keep that in mind. I'm gonna apply a X22 layer after every single step on the base from now on. I will not show these steps in the video anymore. I'm adding more texture and the ball waves using with extra heavy gel medium. Of course this will be completely transparent when it dry. Everything is ready for the final assembly. I'm filling the gaps with extra heavy gel medium. And I'm applying the first layer of the ball waves. This time I'm gonna use cotton instead of white paint for making the wave forms. Showing is simpler than explaining. Let's make a big wave using with cotton and gel medium.
It looks like a piece of cotton. I'm applying more texture to the cotton wave using with regular gel medium this time. Well, it's starting to look like a wave now. This is the way how I make flowing waters from the deck with the cotton. It's still wet, but after it has dried, more water and wetness effect on the body of U-boat using with gel medium. And here is the result of what I did a few steps ago. I am attaching it to the deck using with gel medium. And finally, I'm applying more foam effect with acrylic white paint. See you on the next episode. Until then, keep modeling and take care of yourself. Now, enjoy the picture.